Hey, what's up, fellas? Um, I'm going to get to the point directly because I just came home from uh, where my wife works. Uh, there's my hoopty. I got it all plugged back in. Um, uh, there are consequences for you as a man if you do something to a woman who is under some other guy's protection. Now I'm speaking directly about my wife. Last Friday, and I'm going to show you so I don't get... I'm going to try not to be too upset about this stuff. But, um, anyways. Yeah, there's my... Uh... All right, listen. Um, my wife is a director at the uh, University Medical Center here in El Paso, Texas. Um, is she a doctor or a lawyer or anything? No, she's an administrator. But um, the guy she works for evidently got in her face and made her cry on Friday. And um, I don't know if you know what that's like, um, but I don't have anybody on planet Earth else to fucking worry about except my wife. And if you decide as a man to upset my wife to the point where she cries at work, you're going to have to fucking deal with me. And uh, that's what happened today. Um, now I will, um, let me uh, go shut the fucking front door. And I'm going to deal with the consequences of my actions. But I also want you guys to understand that uh, you can't fucking do whatever you want or say whatever you want to somebody, uh, especially if it's a woman who's under another man's protection and act like nothing's going to fucking happen to you. Um, this guy is a... Uh, anyways... I don't want to. I don't want to get too personal about it, but he's five foot two. Anyway, there's the. Uh, anyway, so um, so I uh, drove to the university medical center, and I uh, found that young man in the parking lot. And you would be surprised at how different his attitude was. Listen, um, fuck, I don't know how to say this. I don't want to sound like a dickhead. Um, I would never, ever, your woman, your wife, your mother, your sister, your girlfriend, your daughter could talk to me crazy and I would just fucking walk away. And, uh, he stuck his finger in my wife. Hey, and if you don't think I'm going to believe my wife over this piece of shit, so, let me just fucking. It is what it is. All right, we're out in the backyard. That is a um, black hole sun uh, pool. Backyard. Let me go in and sit down so I don't get too fucking upset. Um, I already called <laughs> the Dar Jeep Darnell and told him what happened. Well, I told him what I think had happened. And, and, and that's the rub. The rub is what I think happened and what that guy... Mm, fuck, I can't find my... Let me get my little stand. It's just different. I have the right to protect the people I love. And... Um, if you would never talk to your wife, your daughter, your sister, your aunt, or your cousin, your mother, your mother-in-law, or anybody like that, but you would talk to my wife like that because she works for you, you've made a serious fucking mistake. And um, it is what it is. This is supposed to be the fucking holidays. So anyways... <clears throat> I don't know what it is about some guys when they get into a position 
of power that they um, forget that they should treat people like they want to be treated. I'm very upset. Um, and I'll deal with the consequences of what happens. But let me tell you something. If my wife comes home crying, talking to me, telling me your name, and that, don't act like nothing's going to fucking happen to you. Love you guys. I'm going to do what I can to help you. But you can never ask me not to be a basic human being. Or you cannot ask me to not be a provider and a protector. That is my primary goals. And if you think I'm going to let my wife be disrespected or a woman in my life be disrespected because you think you're some sort of, uh, it is what it is. And that man would never want me to, and my wife has two voice recordings and she's at HR right now. She has, hmm. You cannot ask me. But anyways, to, in my opinion, he got what he had coming to him. Um, that's it. Now, I'm not going to say anything other than that. But uh, gentlemen, uh, you have a right to defend yourself. Uh, I believe you have a right to defend and protect those people that you love that are in your life. And um, whatever happens, happens. Um, you don't see any fucking... <laughs> it was let me just shut the fuck up. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you have to take care of yourself. Sometimes you're justified for protecting the people that you love. And that is the gist of this uh, video. Like a Ford Nijis journey from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Goodbye.